Once there was a little monkey. Little monkey loved to climb trees. He loved to swing from vine to vine and he loved to eat bananas. Nom, 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 nom. Now one day monkey went swinging through the jungle until he came to a village. When he got there he looked around. Ooh, what fun I could have there. I could climb trees. I could dance on the roof. I could flip over stew pots and I could eat bananas. <gasps> Little monkey looked up and he saw an enormous banana tree. Ooh. As he stared at the bananas, a little girl walked over. Monkey, she said, you can't stay here in the village or you will end up in a stew pot. You must go away at once. Oh, poor little monkey. He swung on the vines all the way home, deep, deep into the jungle. I really, really want to go to the village. I want to play. I want to dance on the roofs. What can I do? Little monkey decided to visit the wisest animal in the jungle, old porcupine. Little monkey went to old porcupine's den and said, Old porcupine, can you keep me safe if I go to the village? And old porcupine said, Yes, I can, little monkey. But first you must do exactly as I say. Okay. Here you go, little monkey. And old porcupine handed little monkey a broom. Sweep out my den. So little monkey swept the den. La 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 la. All clean. He put down the broom. Oh porcupine, can you keep me safe in the village now? Yes, I can. But you must listen very carefully. And do exactly as I tell you. I will. So old porcupine took some leaves and some moss and some magic words. He wrapped them up and tied them around little monkey's neck. Little monkey, this charm will keep you safe in the village. Now, if you go to the village, you must not eat the bananas. If you stay here in the jungle, you can do whatever you like. You can eat all the bananas from every tree you find. But if you go to the village, don't eat bananas. Don't eat bananas. Okay, I'm going to the village. And off little monkey went, swinging through the vines until he got to the village. When he got there, he looked around. Ooh, I could dance on the roof. I could flip over the stew pots or oh, bananas. Those bananas look so yummy. Hmm. But sometimes bananas look yummy, but they don't feel yummy. I wonder if I gave the banana a squeeze, would it be ripe? Little monkey wasn't sure, so he went to ask old porcupine. He went swinging through the jungle on the vines and soon he found old porcupine's den. Old porcupine, can I just squeeze a banana? Little monkey, you can do what you like, but don't eat the bananas. Don't eat the bananas. Little monkey went back to the village. He scampered up the banana tree and he squeezed a banana. And he squeezed another banana. They feel ripe. Ooh. Hmm, thought little monkey. Sometimes bananas look ripe and feel ripe, but they don't smell ripe. Hmm. So he went back to see old porcupine. Oh, porcupine, can I just smell a banana? 
Oh, little monkey, you may do what you like, but don't eat the bananas. Don't eat the bananas. Okay. And back he went to the village. He scrambled up the tree. He looked at the bananas. He squeezed a banana and he smelled a banana. Ah, it smells ripe. But sometimes a banana looks ripe and feels ripe and smells ripe. But when you wrap your tongue around it, it tastes yuck. Hmm, I wonder, can I wrap my tongue around a banana? Little Monkey went back to see old Porcupine, but he couldn't find him anywhere. Oh, Porcupine, can I wrap my tongue around a banana? Hmm, he listened. Hmm, he could hear old Porcupine. Little Monkey, you may do what you like, but don't eat the bananas. Don't eat the bananas. Okay. And off he went back to the village. He scrambled up the banana tree. He looked at the bananas. He squeezed a banana. He smelled a banana. And he peeled a banana. And then Little Monkey wrapped his tongue around a banana. And just then, a piece of banana broke off and went down Monkey's throat all the way into his tummy. Hmm, that was delicious. Little Monkey forgot everything old Porcupine had told him. And he ate the whole banana. Then he threw the peel on the ground. Then he picked another banana and he peeled that and ate it too. And another. And another. Until little monkey was very full and very tired. Little Monkey fell fast asleep at the top of the tree. And soon a little girl came by. The same little girl who Monkey had seen before. When she looked down at the ground and she saw all the banana peels, she looked up and she saw Little Monkey. Little Monkey! Little Monkey, wake up! she said. But Little Monkey did not wake up. Little monkey, little monkey, please wake up, she said. But still little monkey did not wake up. Little monkey, little monkey, wake up or you will end up in a stew pot, she called. Huh? Hmm. Little monkey woke up. <sighs> he looked at the girl. He looked at the banana peels. Little monkey scrambled down the banana tree, up into the vines and swung all the way back, deeper, deeper, deeper into the jungle, where at last he was safe. Little monkey never returned to the village again. He stayed in the jungle and ate all the bananas his little tummy could hold. And he never ended up in a stew pot. And that's the end of the story.